Hello and welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com Today we're doing a tutorial designer in Cyberlink PowerDirector 8 so let's get started first thing you want to do is pull your video down into the first track on the timeline and then you want to go to the particle room and you want to select the particle design and drop it down into the picture in picture track once you have it there you want to go ahead and make it out to the size you want I'm going to preview it see how it looks and then you want to go into the particle designer so you need to click on the clip and then click on modify so now you have three choices you can add a new particle object can remove one and you can modify the selected particle effect so let's go ahead and modify the one that we have right now so looking at the effect here you can see if you press pre preview you can see everything that is going on so you can play this and you can actually click on the different choices and then you get to see a preview of how the different choice would look by just clicking on it so you can tell how the objects are going to emit Now you can also choose a mask so right now what the mask is, is it goes ahead and makes it into coming from an image that looks like whatever the mask is if I choose a default mask let's say I choose this club then now you'll see it doing coming from that shape so going to stick with the first one now you can always move this to wherever you want on the screen as well so if you want to turn it and have it facing downwards then you can just grab the piece that you want and turn it to where you want it to be it's pretty easy to change how you want it you can change the width of the emitter by grabbing these and also moving them to the side so you can do that so we're going to go ahead and put it back where it was it's right about there which will be fine for us so now we want to go ahead and go through the different parts of the particle designer so the next is to select a particle style so if you click on different ones you can see how it has an effect on the particle so now so before they're more going in different directions so each one of these is going to give you a different look on how the particle emitter works So we're going to go back to the original so now the next thing we can do is add or delete a particle so we already have our first particle in here so we can actually click on add if we wanted to take that one out we can delete it we're going to choose insert a default image and now we're going to see the different types of particles that we can add so we're going to add in a leaf so now you can see the leaves have been added to the effect as well 
now that we've done these parts let's go ahead and modify the parameters there's a lot in here so there's a lot of different things you can play with to get a different look so you keep letting it preview and as you move the sliders over you can tell what effect it has on the video or on the particles you change the countdown of your items you can change how long it lives basically they can fade in and fade out so you choose how long it lives that's what the life means on it you have a life variation give some variety to how long the items live so they don't all you know fade out at the same time and the size so you can change the size of your particle objects once again some size variation so they're not all the same size they have the speed of how fast they travel so we have wave I have an idea of how the items move in and out or up and down we have wave variation and rotation speed so if you want them to rotate you can make them turn and rotate as well then you have gravity keep some within the frame of what you're choosing uh, you can use uh, color keyframes to change the color at different points so let's say I want to have one starting color and then a different ending color and I can click on the ending color that I want and make it different if I choose to do so and then we can have the particles overlay each other or we can uncheck that which would make them actually be able to be seen through one another so you can see the particles through one another or you can cover them where you can't now you can also change the path of how your particle effects are going across the screen so right now we have them all coming up from the bottom but if we wanted to we can choose uh, different types of path so let's say we wanted this as our path then you would see the items coming from here and emitting down into this path but you can also move the path if you wish to do so so you can move the line make it go to a different path so if I wanted to I could actually add uh, keyframes so adding a keyframe would actually give me the ability to make it move to a different position within there so let's say I want that keyframe there and let's say I wanted to add another keyframe here I can do so and now you get to see the effect as it's living and breathing and going through the different changes and the different areas where I put the keyframes at so now if I wanted to I could also instead of modifying the keyframe I or the particles I could add another particle I could add a background image or add a particle object so let's say I want to add a new object and with this option I get to add another emitter and I can add anything else that I want to doesn't have to be shared like on the last one the two items were actually coming from the same emitter but now since I've added an object I have the ability to have a new emitter have it come out however I want and have it do whatever I want it to do as well so I want to actually change the image 
we'll just do add image I'll find a different leaf to use open that I will delete that one and now I have another image and I have the ability to do or another particle effect and I have the ability to do all of the things that I did with the last one change the direction everything so once I've made all my cha changes everything set up I hit OK and now I have my particle effect so you can basically go into the particle designer and utilize all the options they have there you can take uh, PNG images and make your own mask or add your own uh, particle objects just by using a PNG image that you create yourself you can create a PNG image in Adobe or uh, other uh, photo or slideshow software so there you have it how to use a particle designer in CyberLink PowerDirector 8 thanks for watching and we hope to see you again soon